So, how you guys doing? So today I want to give you guys a gift that is going to make your life 10 times better. If you come into this understanding and you then enact this in your life, you act, take this wisdom, this knowledge that I'm about to give you and make it work in wisdom for you, you will see a continuous flow of change in your life. You know, a friend of mine, we were talking the other day, and what she remarked to me is that she has witnessed my life for the last five or six years. Now, in witnessing that, one of the things that she had already, that she noticed is that I had told her that in my life, it seems like I would go 10 steps forward and all of a sudden, something, all of a sudden, something pushes me like 12 steps back. I'm sure you guys know what I'm talking about. You move so far in your career, you move so far in a relationship, you move so far in your health, and then all of a sudden, we call it life challenges come about you, and then you get pushed back. And then we wonder, how do people just succeed and push through that? And we say that, oh, there's this plateau and you got to push through the plateau. That's not altogether correct. You see, in our discussion about this, and then I started thinking about all the studies on energy that her and I both share in, that really it's a matter of energy. You see... When I'm doing something, when I'm involved in a business, when I'm involved in a relationship, when I'm involved in my personal health, at the beginning I have a high, strong energy that pushes me towards my goals. And the more and more I move towards those goals, the stronger and the higher that energy becomes. And then I begin to surround myself with other people of the same energy. And that ball of energy becomes so strong that any negative energy that's trying to come in just can't get in because the hedge of protection of energy around me is so strong. If it's about my business, it's so strong. But then once I get to a certain level and I start to relax the energy, then the negative forces can come in. The negative energy can come in and disrupt my program. And then when that disruption comes, then I start scrambling thinking like everything's falling apart. And then my own negative energy, my own doubt starts to get involved and it crushes the whole thing. I'm sure you guys know what I'm talking about. I think this is why Yeshua said, don't let your left hand know what your right hand is doing. Because let me tell you, this is how it actually works. When you have that positive energy, when you get ready to start a business, get ready to get in shape, get ready to do whatever it is that you want to do that's outside of your norm, if you tell everybody about it, there are some that will have negative energy going towards you about it. There are those who will doubt your ability to do it. They will doubt the existence. They will be the first one to say that the man ain't going to let you have it. You're too old to do this. You can't do it, period. They will have something negative. 90% of businesses fail, and the ones that don't fail, 90% of those fail after the first five years. They will have something negative to say about it. And if they don't say it on purpose, they unintentionally say it because they think they're saying it because they're predicting how life goes. But all they're doing is sending you negative energy. Let me give you an example. So I made a decision in my life about six months ago. Now, there are a lot of people who don't like that decision. I'm not thinking that these people are going around praying for hateful things to happen to me. They're praying for my business to not succeed. But I think, and I know because I've experienced it in previous times I made similar decisions, there are people out there who are going to say that God is going to punish you because of this decision. That God won't allow for you to excel until you do whatever, until you change this decision or make amends for this decision. It ain't got nothing to do with God. It ain't got nothing to do with what, you know, God trying to punish me or not trying to punish me. The fact of the matter is that when they put it out there to God, they are actually sending God a prayer to say that God punish him for this because I think he should be. That's all it really is. You're not predicting anything. You're not just saying I'm just saying. I hate when people say, I'm just saying. Stop just saying. Because the thing about it is that those negative words that you're uttering, those negative words, those negative thoughts are going to that person. And it's inhibiting whatever they're trying to accomplish. Yes, they may have hurt you. Yes, they may have hurt their your friends. Yes, they may have hurt your family. They may have done something that you don't agree with. But at the end of the day, is it up to you to judge whether or not they should be hurt, whether or not they should suffer? Is it up to you to decide that? No, it's not. It's not. I'm sorry. It is not. And you may be doing it unintentionally. And if you are, check yourself. You know, Paul said it's a constant renewing of the mind. You've got to be mindful of what you think. And life and death is in the tongue. So you have to be incredibly mindful of what you say. Now, here's the thing. 
you are going to have people out there who are going to have negative things to say about you or what you're doing. At the end of the day, you have to maintain a level of positive energy that is unstoppable, that puts a hedge of protection around you, your family, your business, your work, your health, around everything that there is about you that so that it won't be stopped. You know, oftentimes in my life, I'm just going to say it, not trying to be arrogant, but I'm an alpha male. But at times, I can let so much negative energy come into my life that it turns me into a beta male. And that cannot happen because every time that happens, that's when I take 12 steps back from the 10 steps forward that I took. You understand that? That's when I take 12 steps back from the 10 steps forward that I took because I allow other people's negative energy to turn me from an alpha male into a beta male. And I'm sorry, I just can't be beta. It just doesn't work. So I'm telling you, you have to make a declaration to yourself that you will set your life to a point, set yourself up to a point where you do the meditation, you do your prayers, you do your study, you do your affirmations, you do whatever it is that you do that keeps your thoughts going forward into the thinking that you are strong, that you are worthy, that you are great, that you are a child of God, that you walk in the light, that you are everything that you believe that you are and can be and will be you have to do that you have to say that i am wonderful i am handsome i am great i am in shape i am energetic i am fine i am fun i am rich i am wealthy i am loved i give love you have to be able to say the i am's to yourself because you are as you state that you are and your life is as you state that it is because the trueness of life is that whatever thought you have is the reality that it will become. But if somebody else is bringing in negative thoughts and negative energy and negative words, then those thoughts and energies can overcome you if you are not strong in your own. So build yourself. Build your hedge of protection. Make sure that the ones who are around you and who do know what you're going through, that they are in strength with you. Because I'm going to leave you with this one last thing. Oftentimes people have come to me and they say, well, I'm going to pray for you for that. I'm going to pray for you about this. I've made a decision. They say, well, I'm going to pray. No. What are you praying about? I need to know what your prayer is about. Because if your prayer is not in sync with what my prayers are, then we are sending God messages that are headbutting, and then they nullify each other and nothing happens. So I may not want your prayers. You know, it says when two or three come together, but they have to come together in like mind. And if you're not in like mind, meaning like thought, then I don't need you to participate because you're coming against what I am looking to accomplish. So you got to protect. You got to protect your thoughts and you got to protect your environment. And don't let people bring their negativity into you. Don't let people bring their intentional or unintentional negative thoughts that are contrary to what you want in your life into your life. So look. It may cost you friends, it may cost you family, it may cost you a church family, it may cost you money, it may cost you a place that you live, it may cost you a lot. But be willing to give up everything in order to gain everything because what you can get and what you can gain in return, the love that you can receive in return is far greater than any love that you may have ever lost. I know this to be true. All right, so be willing to lose everything to gain everything because my greatness is non-negotiable and I know yours is as well. Have a great day.